Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, in today's video, I want to share with you what I carry around in my makeup bag. So my go-to products, the products I use all the time for day-to-day -day use when I'm traveling or when I'm just doing my makeup every day. So if you want to see what I carry in my makeup bag, then please just keep on watching. So this is my little makeup bag. This bag is from Forever New. Um, it's a mint blue um, leather bag with some pink and green uh, peonies on it. So peonies are my favorite, favorite, favorite flower and um, I just love this bag. So this bag is not the cheapest bag you can find, um, but it is a very stylish makeup bag. I think it was around uh, $2.99 Rand. Um, not sure. I will try and link it for you in the description box. But yeah, this is what it looks like and I will show you what's inside. So just grabbing the first thing that I see, um, I have some face lotion. This is from Johnson & Johnson. It's the Even Complexion Night Cream. Um, I always like carrying a face lotion with me because I have a very dry face. So whenever I'm traveling, I like to apply a face lotion after I remove my makeup. The next thing is the LA Gold Pro Conceal in the, the shade Natural. The next thing, my favorite primer at the moment is the Professional from Benefit. If you haven't tried this before, this is a sample size. You can get this at Edgar's um, or you can buy it online. Um, the sample size is much, much cheaper than the regular size and it's much smaller so it's very travel friendly. The next thing I see here is a Essence Lip Gloss. Um, I love anything matte on my lips. <laughs> I love anything matte on my lips so this is a matte lip gloss um, I've used it so much I actually don't know what the actual shade is but it's a very light dusty pink it's what I have on my lips today the next thing is my rose water I've had a bunch of questions where I get this rose water from so I'll show you the exact packaging I get it from Diskim you can get it from any drugstore your local pharmacy um, so this is the brand that I use um, it's just a normal rose water from Diskim, so you can use it as a toner, as moisturizing mist, um, anything. So basically the ingredients in here is distilled water, polysorbate, rose oil and aloe vera. So it's basically all natural and it's so soothing to your skin and it's a much cheaper alternative than the MAC Fix Plus. The next thing I pull out of my makeup bag is my highlighter from MAC. This is my favorite highlighter and it's in the shade Soft and Gentle. I have it on today. I just apply a little bit on the tops of my cheek and my nose and my cupid's bow and it gives you the prettiest glow ever. The next thing is another concealer. So I do carry two concealers because I like one more full coverage and one to be a little bit more sheerer for a natural look. So the one that I'm wearing today is this one in fact um, because I wanted a more natural um, look and not so flawless but um, still pretty. So this is the um, Mineralized Concealer and it's in the shade NC15. The next thing I have is a brush and this is my bronzer brush and I use it with this bronzing powder over here. This is the bronzing powder from MAC in the shade Golden. It's kind of in between a shimmer and a matte bronzer so it does have a tiny bit of shimmers but it's more on the matte side. The next thing I have here is my gel cream. This is my eyebrow product that I use most of the time, um, in fact every single time. So this is the Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in the shade Dirty Blonde and I apply it with this little brush from MAC in, this is the number, 266SE brush. The next thing is another brush and this is, I've used it so much, it is rubbed off, but um, I'm sure this is the setting brush from Real Techniques. You can get Real Techniques at any Fushini or you can get them at um, Woolworths, I believe, or online. Next thing I have is my favorite mascara. I do have eyelash extensions, so I can't use 
any mascara that I want. I can't use a waterproof mascara and most mascaras are waterproof. The next thing that I'm grabbing is my favorite lipstick from MAC and that is Velvetiti. Um, it's a combination between a little bit of a nude or a nude brown. So um, it's not what I'm wearing today but I love this matte lipstick from MAC. Okay so I have two powders um, to set my foundation and my concealer and that is a higher end and a drugstore. Um, my higher end one is the Selexia Press Powder in the shade NC20. I use this on most days but um, I've kind of hit the pan and I'm almost out so I only try and use this for a little bit more special occasions when I want my makeup to last a little bit longer. Um, but this one is just as good. This is the Remel Stay Matte Powder. And I have it in the shade 001 Transparent. So this is a kind of like a translucent powder. Um, but it's in a compact form. The next thing is a shadow brush as well. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush. So I use this brush mostly to either contour my nose or to add a little bit of shadows to my crease. So the next brush is a powder brush which I use to set my powders with. The next thing is my beauty blender. I'm sure all of you have purchased a beauty blender by now. Um, it's one of my staple makeup tools if you can say it like that. I just run it under cold water and then I just blend my foundation or my concealer with it. And I think this is the last brush which is my foundation brush. Um, I just use this to apply my foundation, basically. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And another brow product, this is the Make a Brow, Make Me Brow from Essence. I have it in the shade 01 Blondie Brow. Okay, so I have two foundations and that is MAC Pseudo Fix Fluid and Essence All About Matte. I'm not going to talk about this any further because I have talked about both of these foundations in a lot of videos of mine so if you want to see um, a review or demos on each of these just go watch the rest of my videos. <laughs> I have two lip products um, and this is almost done. Um, so I have Cultured from MAC and Wool from MAC so they're both lip pencils. And then the last thing I have in my makeup bag is a liquid liner. I found this liquid liner recently and I love it so much. It doesn't smudge. It glides on so smooth. It's amazing. And it has a thick and a thin tip. So this is the Scandalized Thick and Thin Liner from Rimmel. And it looks like that. So the last thing that I have in my makeup bag is a little shadow. Um, this is my favorite eyeshadow. It's like a very peachy, nudey kind of brown shade. And this is in the shade Melon and it's from Revlon. So that is what I have in my makeup bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Um, I thought it would be fun to film something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have in my makeup bag. So if you do like this video, please thumbs up it for me and subscribe if you haven't yet. I make new videos every week. So I hope to see you in my next video and I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's just get started. And the next thing is also, the next thing is also a shadow brush, but it's a deluxe crease brush. Deluxe crease brush. Just a ColourPop, not ColourPop brand, but a just a pop of shadow. So you can buy a few of these and you can link them together.